Hi, welcome all of you on platform of your BD education and uh, let me talk today about one of the very very relevant topic here and that is how the SOP or SOR uh, is different when you write it for uh, PhD from MTech and when you write it uh, for PhD after BTech. Uh, this my video is for uh, SOP SOR to be written after MTech for admission into PhD. So let me tell you like uh, if you have already done your MTech and you want to uh, basically go for PhD then SOP SOR may what is to be written. You know when you do your MTech then the project which you have done in BTech is not very relevant. I mean you need not to mention more about that unless until obviously it is directly related to PhD topic. So whatever you have done in your MTech that one paragraph has to be there that in the my masters this is what I've done because you know after BTech if you want to do PhD all areas are open for you for, if I give you example of electronic engineering like you have BTech in electronics you can do it in communication VLSI many other digital electronics you can go similarly if you're a civil engineer you can do in structures environment geotech anything you can do similarly if you're from mechanical you can do PhD in thermal design industrial production any domain but after MTech, if you have done MTech in thermal, you are to do PhD in thermal only. That means my MTech project is directly related to PhD, what I want to do. And professor is going to ask you that what work you've done in MTech and how your MTech is relevant for this area which you are working. So MTech project may one paragraph you have to write. You have to write one paragraph which you have done in MTech project and it is relevant for what PhD you want to do. Then second is proposed research area or topic. You know if I want to join PhD in IIT Delhi in thermal department and I've done MTech in thermal only suppose I've done MTech in thermal obviously I cannot go for PhD in design. If I've done MTech in thermal I will go for PhD in thermal. Now what I will do I will go to IIT Delhi the IIT in which I want to do PhD I will go to that department and I will see particular professor work of one professor two professors the work of which is related to my MTech work or I want to do under him and that work should not be very much different it should be related. So the work which I want to do in PhD should be related to work which I have done in MTech it should be related. So the work which I want to do in PhD I need to find out the professor related to that domain suppose I identified the professor then I need to go through his research work. I need to go through his research papers and I need to go through the labs of IT Delhi. Let's say combustion, internal combustion engine lab. And I have my MTech work is also related to combustion only. So I will see which lab is there in IT Delhi working in the same area. So that same area I will focus and the same lab I will see. And there I will start exploring that I want to go into this same area. I will start exploring the same thing. And I will mention what I would like to do in PhD. I will see that lab. I will see the work going on in that lab. And I would like write a couple of passage for that also. So one paragraph I will write about what I will do. I will mention one paragraph. I will write one paragraph that in which area I want to work. So this one paragraph is what I have done. And this one paragraph is what I will do if I join PhD. These two are different things. So one paragraph what I want to basically do in PhD if I join and there you are going to mention labs or uh, basically professors. Many times students say okay, sir should we mention the name of the professors. You see you should mention the name of the professor if you are 100% sure that this is the only professor under which you want to do. No other professor. If you get this professor okay otherwise you will not do PhD. So if you are very sure that this is the professor under whom you would like to work then only you need to mention the name of that professor. And if you want that no, not only this professor, I can work under this other professors also, then you should not mention the name. So name you have to mention only if you are very, very sure this is the professor I want to work in. Otherwise, don't mention the name, right? And uh, mention, then you see his work, what he has done and uh, that work and that particular proposed area should be mentioned in the paragraph. So what is the typical SOP statement of purpose why I want to do SOR what I want to do typical research statement is 
first paragraph is i have done my masters this is my topic now i would like to go in detail and i want to uh, further explore the options in this area and this is the domain in which i want to work that in this area i would like to work now that is the second paragraph third is little mentioning about that iit that lab that particular department why this department only i want so these two three paragraphs you need to mention and that will complete your research proposal or research statement so this is how your uh, sop sr in mtech to phd is different from btech to phd this is how it goes that is the main difference so if you are writing from btech to phd maybe your btech project is not relevant many times students say that sir my btech project is on this topic but phd i want to do in this acceptable your btech and phd uh, topic may be different btech project and phd what you want to do may be different but mtech and phd cannot be different and hence one paragraph of mtech thesis has to be there mtech project has to be there and related thing how it is related to phd that has to be connection has to be there and then what you want to do in phd that also needs to be mentioned this is the main difference between btech to phd and mtech to phd this is what we have to focus i hope this is clear to you any question you have please ask in the common comment section i'll be happy to answer for that thank you